hello guys welcome to another youtube channel and in today's video i will show you how to use samsung dex so i'm using galaxy s10 plus and uh, connecting the s10 plus wirelessly using the samsung dex to my macbook pro and uh, i will do a separate video uh, to show how to connect the mobile and the macbook pro wirelessly to the samsung dex See, once you have successfully connected the mobile with the DEX app, this is the home screen you will get. So, this is a separate window. Uh, it works like an application. So, you can minimize and access your MacBook or desktop as well. But uh, when you maximize it, you can use it like a PC. So, usually DEX is a, a very famous software and hardware feature. Uh, with which you can connect your mobile to a monitor and use it as a personal computer. But just to show you a couple of things, I have so many apps installed in my mobile. So just to start with, it has a Windows like Start button or Apps button over here uh, on the left hand corner. Okay. So when you click on this, you will see all the applications installed. And uh, you can see a couple of uh, applications listed over here on the home screen i'm just hovering on them and there is a folder of google created here with the basic google apps so uh, by just right clicking here you can sort the app icons or you can clean up the page you can screen zoom like this and uh, also you can change the wallpaper by clicking on to the wallpaper you can go to the wallpaper section in the settings to change the wallpaper of your interest then when you click on this you will get three options here one is exit dex that is the dex app will close and the mobile connection will end over here then you will also get an option to lock dex so i will just show you how to lock dex so once you lock dex you will end up with your mobile lock screen to unlock this you have two methods one is to enter the pin which i have put into unlock your mobile or else you can go to your mobile and turn on the screen and put your biometrics over there to unlock the dex lock screen as well one important note while using dex wirelessly with the s10 plus or higher version of mobiles you can use mobile separately that is you can answer your calls or you can do whatever you want on the mobile screen which will not affect dex over here now now with this we have three buttons since this is android software we have recent screens button then you have home button then you have back button this is quite common then you have an option to change the language over here okay then you have the keyboard layout here you have the sound bar here where you can adjust the volume controls then you have an option to take the screenshot over here okay once you take the screenshot you have a very useful tool here just to draw or edit the screenshot otherwise you can directly share it from here or else you can save it so if you just close it like this it will disappear then you have the number of notifications which shows how many notifications are there while you click on this it will open with a small window with this you can control how your notification should look like or you can directly clear the notification then you have your connection settings that is quick settings quick setting panel it is uh, quite same as your uh, samsung mobile uh, quick settings you have all the toggles here which you can turn on and off you can also go to settings from here with the top right corner of the quick setting panel you can turn on do not disturb or you can turn wi-fi on and off you can turn off the dex from here as well you can turn off the bluetooth so this is a place where you can toggle all your settings on and off you also have date here clicking on the date and time will take you to the calendar and show all your uh, calendar events 
uh, you can also set reminders from here itself so you can open reminder from here itself it works same as the android application because you are running on the android skin over here now i will just show you a couple of applications how do they work if i open the camera it will actually turn on the front camera of the mobile even though the mobile is off the mobile screen is off here i can't show it in the camera uh, you can see the mobile uh, front camera has uh, turned on then if you open some other applications like uh, play store it will open in a very small window and while maximizing it will go to the full screen mode basically each and every uh, window or application opens in a minimized screen now let us see how does bluetooth work uh, youtube work sorry so i will search for youtube so once i open youtube it will also open in a small window you can pin the apps here so this icon will pin the app to the dock or to the screen once you maximize it it just works like a browser okay or else it just works like the android youtube app you can go uh, and watch any youtube video for that matter so now i will go to my channel and uh, show how does it look i will open the video to show you how does it play it is quite slow because uh, maybe the internet is slow or uh, since i have connected dex via wifi that might be the reason but uh, it still works quite well if you are in a hurry or if you have a monitor to connect with then you can definitely go and uh, connect your um, samsung mobile to any screen and uh, work like a personal computer i will close the youtube app now let us see how you can work with the couple of uh, productivity apps like microsoft office so let me open the apps tab and i will just check if powerpoint is there it's not there so i will just check i will try to install the powerpoint microsoft powerpoint and, and let us see how does it work can you create some good presentations using dex i think we can because you are using a monitor and connecting your mobile it should not be that bad but i have a small doubt regarding the speed so let us just install the application and check you can also run a couple of zoom meetings everything is uh, pretty normal so you don't have to worry about uh, the camera you can keep the mobile in a stand and connect to the dex so it will uh, the camera will be easily accessible that should not be a problem at all now the more the microsoft powerpoint has been installed i will close the app store and uh, let us wait for this to open i'm not signing it up because I don't want to get it signed in right now. Yes, sign in later. Skip for now. This is just like a desktop app, friends. Believe me, you can create wonderful presentations. No worries. to browse office files photos and media you will need to allow access to all files and settings okay you need to give permission in the settings to access the device storage okay so let me just check how does it work i'm very curious so let me see
opens very quickly no other options to edit and save sign in with the subscription so without subscription you can't edit or you can't create any presentation you can just open other presentations and uh, look at it i can just check if any presentation is there to open the presentation also i need to sign into my one drive which i am not going to do right now anyway it should work uh, uh, in a good manner because it has opened quickly so the speed is really good now i'll walk you through the settings quickly and uh, we'll wind up this video settings is as same as the android uh, settings guys you have your profile settings here then you have settings for your samsung dex especially you can increase the font size size you can increase the screen zoom and you can also increase the screen timeout for connected display maybe 60 minutes this is the maximum we have and you can change the wallpaper you can also auto hide taskbar and you can also learn how to use samsung dex here um, which is very easy so you don't have to look at the tutorial at all and if you go to about samsung dex you can see the uh, version number as well as you can see the open source licenses this is open source software so this should be it guys and uh, then we have normal android settings like sounds and vibrations themes and all those things these settings will not run in dex mode so we have to run it in the phone mode i will just check if i can open the digital well-being app so digital well-being is a very good feature from google in android 9 and above i guess which shows the usage history of you so you can really control the uh, telephone usage you can also create some good focus modes uh, like driving monitor and uh, bedtime mode or else work time where you can have a number of apps on the home screen which keeps you focused then uh, we will also walk through the battery and device care a full charge uh, in my galaxy s10 plus will surely take it uh, uh, to uh, flat uh, 12 to 13 hours guys it has a very good battery uh, backup so 12 to 13 minutes is a very good uh, uh, number of hours of usage where i'll be using the phone almost two and a half to three hours and uh, uh, almost eight to nine hours it will be on uh, the screen of mode but the phone is really good so that's why it is running quite faster on a dex mode as well then all these settings are as same as your uh, settings on the phone so i will not uh, go in depth with this so with this i will end this video just uh, i'll try to open a browser and check how does it look it's like a laptop so you don't have to worry about uh, browsing this with uh, uh, without problem you can browse so no issues at all so with this let us end today's video keep watching another youtube channel and if, if you have any content on mind like how to's and uh, what to do videos or if you have any confusions in buying electronic and gadgets please let me know in the comments below so that i can try to do a video regarding that keep watching another youtube channel videos until next time bye bye see you take care